Hey, Christ Covenant, I want to just talk just a little bit about where we're headed Sunday, uh, the last Sunday as your interim pastor, uh, as both we kind of celebrate uh, what the Lord has done in the past year or more, and then also celebrate uh, Jason and the and the Purdy family coming to serve you guys and to be a part of that church community. And so I was thinking through what to preach on the final Sunday as your interim pastor to a church that we've certainly come to love and uh, have settled in on Acts chapter 20. Uh, what's happening in Acts chapter 20 is Paul is addressing the Ephesian elders, the, the pastors of the church at Ephesus, for the final time. Uh, and, and here's kind of the context. And uh, he is uh, addressing a group of men, uh, many of whom he has given the gospel to. He's helped plant this church. He's helped appoint these men as elders. Uh, and he's, he knows he's addressing them for the final time. He knows he's constrained to go to Jerusalem. He knows that persecution awaits him as he does, knows that he will not see them again. And so he he gives them these last words. And I've entitled the sermon, Lasting Words, because uh, there's an old adage, last words should be lasting words. And so I think this is a uh, a very helpful uh, text for us to, to work through, uh, kind of on my last Sunday in this role and kind of the commissioning and celebrating of Jason coming. Um, and so I uh, want to work our way through Acts 20, particularly the back end of that chapter when Paul does address them for the final time. And uh, and he gives them, I try to synthesize what he says to them down to nine encouragements that that he gives uh, to both the leaders of the church at Ephesus, but certainly if he's given these encouragements to the leaders of the church of Ephesus, he's given this this encouragement to all the, the people who make up uh, the membership of the church there at Ephesus. These will be encouragements like uh, serve with humility and compassion to persevere, uh, to teach and ponder profitable things. And then he really just te teaches them and, and talks to them about treasuring Christ and, and treasuring Christ's people, treasuring the church and treasuring Christ's word and treasuring Christ's character to pursue holiness because God is holy. And then to, to treasure Christ's mission and his uh, generosity again. Uh, wonderful encouragements he leaves. And so uh, kind of with my last words in this role, I want to leave you with the encouragement that Paul left uh, the church at Ephesus in Acts chapter 20. So read through it. Uh, ask, you know, the Lord, what what are you trying to teach us? Why, why did you record these things and inspire them by your spirit? Uh, and then let's come together Sunday. Let's enjoy studying the word together and let's celebrate what the Lord has done uh, for us in the gospel. And then let's think about and ponder the days ahead. I look forward to seeing you then.